freedom from the spirit of anger is based on that verse and those words of Jesus. And I'm not a great preacher, but that one little message that has affected thousands of lives would not be in existence if I had not had those words of Jesus. It is not a small matter to leave the words of Jesus out of the Bible and suddenly they are not there. You would also not have, if you're going to go with the Nestle Allen text instead of the Texas Receptus, you would not have the last 12 verses of the book of Mark, including four verses where our Lord himself spoke and gave the great commission. They simply disappear. They are not in existence. You would also not have Acts chapter 8 and verse 37 where Philip told the Ethiopian eunuch what he needed to do to be baptized. Verse 37 simply does not exist if you use the wrong Greek text. You would also not have one of the clearest verses on the Trinity in the Bible. 1 John 5, 7 says, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. And the NIV Bible simply says there are three that testify. That's it. The rest of it disappears. By the way, the early church father Tertullian around 200 A.D. referred to 1 John 5, 7 as we have it in our King James Version Bible. Now, it should be no surprise that the New World Translation done by the Jehovah's Witnesses came from that critical Westcott and Hort Greek text because Jehovah's Witnesses do not believe in the deity of Christ and it's much easier to support that position with the critical text than with the received text, the Testus Receptus, which was the source of our King James Version Bible. 